War Chief, did we miss one of these? I, I... Oh... Man, we were gonna get some Yoshi hype on here. Oh well. Yeah, well, we, we will have some hype, some hype information with the ads for you guys after we, you know, when we enter our break. Some pretty cool announcements out there. I can't say what they are until they, you know, we go to the ad slides, but some really, some, some fun and interesting stuff to keep you guys busy, especially if you guys are very interested in Wi-Fi, but we'll jump into that as we see Tony's More Wi-Fi, that's K what I Casey. want. I want more Wi-Fi. Yeah, okay. I, I, I want more D. I I want more, I want more Smash. As much as how we have to deal with this Wi-Fi arc, I am always down for it. This is like the what is it called? The hyperbolic hyperbolic time chamber arc. Yeah. I mean, I could go on and on about like Sonic, but you're right. This is definitely going to be a hyperbolic time chamber. Uh, there, there is a lot of good things I can say about Sonic, but so far he's doing a pretty good job against uh, Chasey. So what I'm seeing here is that he knows kind of kind of like to slowly back away, right, and then make the approach from the ledge. That's causing Chasey to be more scared. Usually with his ledge options, and so far he's been doing a really, really good job there, but finally gets hit 106 off the stage, coming back to the stage. This is Sonic's, this is one of the things I've always told people about Sonic, like the character, just because he isn't as much as he was in a Smash 4 iteration, he is still very much a viable character, more so where we're seeing with me on Wi-Fi, but definitely offline, he still has a lot of tools that are really, really great. Yeah, a lot of people are scared of like Spin Dash, so they'll typically sit in Shield and then complain about not being able to really challenge Sonic when all he does is like spin dash in and then spin dash away. That was a great F smash. Kind of unfortunate that that spacing happened because Chase Me uh, did the neutral B and it kind of forced Tony the tank to, to land right in front of him. But one tool that Hero does have access to that a lot of players or a lot of other characters don't is having a really good fast up B out of shield that's gonna hit both sides. Yeah, and so if like, all right, um, if okay, see us. <laughs> um, yeah, I got there's like too many projectiles that are hitting Sonic for me to to give advice. But if the uh, if Hero is um like getting pressure with Spin Dash and is forced to stay in Shield, he can always up be out of Shield, and even if Sonic crosses up, the up be should still connect. Yeah. He's actually able to get away. I think the one thing that's that like we do have Sonic as a character in general, I personally just feel that he is one of the best with punishes in the game, simply because that's his speed allows him to do that, but also the kind of combination of spin dash and homing attack. It does cause Sonic to be one of the more feared characters, especially in the neutral, because he can just definitely move in and out of it so fast. And not only that, he's just able to just chase his opponents and go for some solid mix-ups and things like that. From here on out, it's all how Tony is able to just kind of handle around here and move around. Because he sees he has the lead. He doesn't have to make too much of an approach. And when he finally gets a pick, it's small percent, and then he knows when to kind of slowly stop himself for it. Tony's tank isn't, like, pulling the trigger immediately on... Uh, on an option after the spin dash connects, he waits to see like how his opponent's DIing and then picks a better option. Maybe he can knock him up higher with an air or uh, like try and get a kill with a forward air. So he's not immediately like pulling the trigger. That's something yeah. that, that a lot of good Sonic players will do. Yeah, and he knows like if I'm on the stage and he goes for a projectile, I can easily move away. I can easily get out and then punish him accordingly for it. So it's all up to chase me to kind of figure out how am I going to slowly trap Sonic, especially when he's making an approach for me. But the one thing that Hero does kind of lack is a little bit of speed, just because the fact that like his frame data is pretty poor. Even on some of these specials, they can be pretty slow. So it all depends on like how he gets it. He does have a psych up here, so if he's able to get a throw or something, he could be slowly bringing it back. It's nothing for it. Good day, sir. Good day, good day hero. Um, but like when in terms of like play styles, oh, that was that was a good play using the first hit of F tilt, which is really meant to stop projectiles, stopping Sonic in his tracks and like, getting the kill with the second hit. Yeah, the one thing Hero does have with his shield is the very same way that Link also has it. His shield is always active as long as he's always in the neutral position. The shield can actually. Uh, no longer take damage, but also if he actually hits you with the first of the shield in the forward tilt, he does have a little bit of intangibility there. They went really well in Chase's favor. But now Tony's a tank, you know, going right underneath those fireballs. 
Racking yeah, and damage. And it's like I tell everybody, look, if you're gonna fight Sonic and worry about Sonic, you have to find out what move your character has that can counteract Sonic's spin dashes and poaches. Once you start moving Sonic from a comfortable position, you can slowly pick him apart. And that forward tilt was really good for Chase Me. But we'll see uh, how far I can do because the deficit is pretty high. Okay, just a little fire was all it took. Oh, it's going right underneath the snooze. That's so unfortunate for Chase Me, but Tony's a tank is gonna take game one. And that was really good. He moved out of the range saw the projectile and like you said he moved underneath the snooze and like i mentioned earlier heroes the frame beta that he has even on some of the specials as you see is really poor and because it's so slow he's got frame 13 moves frame 14 moves frame 22 moves sonic speed is the thing that kills hero and it is what's going to get tony the first set i'm sorry the first point here on the set character switches from either player see what the the stage is going to be we definitely needed some hero robbery i definitely agree with uh double cp yeah, if he wanted a w man he needed some hero robbery unfortunately the luck of the draw was not working we'll see what game two brings about it starts off with a neutral way a really good play just sort of a little bit off the stage right off order that's gonna put chase in a really bad position oh trying to follow up with the back air that definitely would have closed out the stock can't blame uh, Tony's a tank for going for it. It actually didn't get punished that, that bad. He was able to attack on a little bit of extra damage with the forward air. Uh, yeah. Did chase back on stage. Nice. Gets into the neutral air a little bit moving away. I think that's the one thing I have to appreciate a little bit from Tony's gameplay here is that when he does go for opportunities when he's on the stage, he waits to see how chasing is going to land, especially towards center stage and then moves around accordingly. That last kick from the neutral air was the one thing that Chase definitely take the stock. Now Chase put on bounce, uh, which, you know, Sonic not really having access to any projectiles except for the spring when he drops it on you, um, isn't going to be utilized too well against Tony's tank, but it is going to take bounce off the menu, so that's why he, that's why he picked it. Yeah, and in reality, like, what, 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 what kind of world would you want to be in? Where, imagine you have balance and Sonic spin dashes you, he gets bounced the opposite direction. That'd be crazy. Wow, okay. Oh no. An explosive ending to game two. <laughs> Chase. That's pretty sure. Yep, 